hi everyone, I'm John Morgan. Now we're round the chipping green. Got my producer with me, a good friend of mine, James Dawson, whiz kid round the greens. Now he's going to put four challenges in front of me, starting here, just in front of the green, going to the pin on the right hand side. Now, Jimbo, what are we doing, bud? I'm just going to pop this one down. This is the easy one. Oh, is it? Oh, thank you. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's easy, I think that's where my footprint's been, but uh, yeah, very damp ground, we know, sludgy ground, very compact, is not an easy shot at all, especially in these conditions, you can easily fat it. Now, the easiest way to get out of this, bit of green to work with as well, you want to be coming in low, run it all the way, I know winter golf, you could fly all the way and stop it dead, bit of a fancy shot, because the winter golf, it's always soft, but anyway, in conditions like this, get the mo less loft on the club, the better. Probably pitching wedge 9 iron wouldn't be a bad thing. Just pitching it on the front of the green, letting it run up. But the way to do that is getting that ball way back in your stance, hands forward, and keeping that angle. If you end up bringing your hands back, you're going to hit behind here, you're going to fat it, it's going to go nowhere, or you could scull it straight over the green into a bunker or even into a hazard. You rack up a mega number. You don't want the ball too far forward in your stance either because you'll hit the ground before it, or you've got to move all your way over to your left hand side during the course of the trip. And it's just I tell you what, it's more hassle than what it's worth. So just set your angle first, back of the stance, hands forward, lock it and rock it. And I'll tell you what, just like that, easy. Right, next. Good shot. Yeah. We'll come over into the rough. Not that heavy rough, but we'll go <coughs> same pin and we'll go about here. Well, that's a better light. That up. Thank you. <laughs> But there's many ways you could play this one. I mean, you could come in hot to drop here, fly all the way, but really, honestly, again, a must. And you've seen it time and time again. Pretend you're on a Lynx golf course. You've got plenty of green to work with, all the humps and the hollows, your visualization. You can see this one breaking off the left, then breaking off the right once it gets near the pin. So you want it closer to the deck. Again, I'm going to use the 55 degree, get it in the back of the stance again. I've not got too much grass behind the ball, so luckily for me, I'm going to be able to get a nice contact on this. Same again as the one before, really and honestly. Same ball position, everything. Might just have to hit it that little bit harder because of the rough if a few blades of grass get between ball and club. So same thing happens again. Feel the weight of where the ball is. The ball's a little bit below me, so I'm going to get a little bit closer to it, a little bit more over the ball. But same again, short little stance. You can see my weight is all going towards where that flag is. And I'm going to hold that angle again. And there you got it. Pretty much identical. Happy days. Next Good, Jimbo. Third time lucky. These are obviously too easy. Hey, come on, man. Give me some. This is a nightmare for me. Oh, yeah. Well, I fall. Oh, no, really? You're going to do that one? Is it going to stay there? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, if I was honest with you, I mean, this is the third one. This is horrible. So pretend this wasn't here, right? Because nine times out of ten, I would putt that. There's no way I am chipping that ball because soft, compacted ground. What's nine times out of ten you can do? You can hit it, fat it, you can scull it, it'll bounce on you. You know, if you opened up your club, you went for lofty. I mean, look at that. That's that far off the ground. So nine times out of ten, you're going to fly it over the green. You will thin it. No doubt about it. So you need to get that leading edge as close, the flange of the club, you need that out the way. So that there, the leading edge is so close to that ball like that. So and the only way to do that is getting those hands forward again. A bit like the previous two shots. But look at this, I've got plenty of green to work with. So nine times out of ten I would putt it. But just pretend I've got a bit of a bit of a pothole here and I've got to go over it. A horrible shot, a tight pin. Ugh, wouldn't like it at all. Same thing, I'm gonna to have to go with a little I'm gonna go fifty on this one. I'm gonna probably pitch it around here. It's gonna come in a lot lower than the previous two. Excuse me. But yeah, these are the ones everyone hates. Now back in the stance again, I'm gonna use the same metaphor. Honestly, lock it and rock it. Jason Day, Jason Day does a good job of this. Good one to follow. Hands forward, leading edge very close to the ground. And I tell you what, it'll run up like a putt. Just a little bit harder, and I tell you what, that was probably in. Not bad though. Right, last one. Oh. Tricky one. A tricky one. Oh, yes. Here we go. It's there for you, mate. Right then, here we go. Visualisation is everything. Feeling comfortable over a chip is everything. I'm looking at that. Now, naturally, straight away with this, the ball's going to be well above me, nearly at knee height. So I'm gripping down the shaft, if I like it or not. I'm going to probably stand on tiptoes as well. So a lot of things to make yourself feel comfortable comes into the equation. Now, it's not a bad light. It's just awkward stance. So making yourself feel comfortable in an awkward stance is the key part of hitting a good golf shot. 
Now, I'm going to get here. Yeah, it's not the most easiest, but I'm going to grip down the club. So I've got a little, little junior club in my hand now. Got the uh, ball well back in my stance as well. I'm looking towards my target. I'm coming in with oh, 50 degrees of loft again. I don't need a lofted club because it's all down and away on me. So all I've got to do is get it on that green. It's going to roll and do all the work for me. So that's one part of the equation out of the thing. All I've got to do is get a nice little contact on it. Now, a little bit on tip twos. Make sure my balance here as comfortable as I can be. Obviously, the ball's going to want to go a little bit left because the ball's way across uh, above my stand. So naturally, the arc of your club, your pathway is going to be more rounded. So naturally, it's going to want to go left. So you can aim a little bit further right just to help you with that. And I'm just aiming just right at the flag, which should do the work for me. And there it was. Straight a little bit left, running up, blah, blah, blah. And I'll tell you what, here you go, gimme. Not too bad, four shots there, Jimbo. What do you think, bud? Yeah, Nine times out of ten. I'll give you a, I'll give you a solid nine. Will you? I'll take that. Cheers, mate. No problem. Top man.